good day I managed to put together my Tesla switch today because it was um took me a while to figure out how to because I'm not soldering I'm done with soldering I'm not soldering anything so I'm using these clips and my biggest problem was is the switches the size of the switches wasn't fitting on the ends of my um, of these connectors on the end of these connectors where are the switches here somewhere there they are. but I managed it today I managed to squash him on managed to get the uh, the connectors connected to the switches right now I'm just charging up this cap just as a test just as a test but if you look what I actually had to do was I had to use the kitchen knife to cut the end off the plastic end off here so it so it sits flush with the uh, metal part so I can stuff it into there and it can actually grip the switch but once it did that it's no problem got them all cut up I have two batteries over here basically it's just four it's eight batteries but they're connected in parallel as if they're one and they're connected in parallel as if they're one they're 1 1.2 volts each so in parallel they're still 1.2 volts and um, but the it, I think there's 700 amp hours, so they're very, very rubbishy nickel cadmium batteries, 1.2 volts. But um, I was looking at the PJ PJ Kelly book, and in there they've got the Tesla switch, and I always wanted to make one. And the uh, the guy, what if I did this channel? He's also been doing this all the time. He's the guy who turned me onto it, and then I remembered that I read it in the PJ Kelly book. Because when he does it, he's switching the batteries manually from series connected to, to parallel connected. But I remember in the book there was a, um, a schematic where you can connect the switches so that once the system transfers its power, once this stops flicking, once the power has been transferred from one battery bank to the other battery bank, then what I do is I just go through, basically you've got three switches on this side. The red one is the on for the, power, for the series. So right now, these batteries are connected in series and they're going connected via the negative. Where's the connection? There's a single plump somewhere. I'll put the schematic up so you can see. You're connected via the positive, isn't it? The positive and the positive is going to the load, which is in the middle here. So the, these three switches are the parallel is on. So so this is the series, I know this is series, ah, this one's not series, see this one's off, this one's off, this is the series side, sorry. So this is the series side, when that switch is switched on, the other two switches over here are switched off, and that connects those two batteries in series. On this side, the series connection is off, and the parallel side connection is switched on which connects those two wires and this side as well. So those two are switched on, connecting those two in parallel. It's blooming complicated. My outs are my knots, so I can see there's a knot there, there's a knot there. And what happens then is when you connect it like this, whichever battery bank is connected in series becomes your positive. So the positive's coming out from the series connected side. And because of that, when I have a load connected here, something powered here, when I switch the batteries, I'd have to flip that round to account for the fact that, okay, now this is in series, so I have to, this is the positive side, so I have to flip it, flip the connection around. Well, I thought, nah, I'm going to do it with switches, so, so I did. So it comes in, and I've marked it with red again, trying to mark it with red. So when this side is the positive, that's connected to the red there, it's, it's that, that one's on. And this one's connected off. That's the switch for the um, high voltage module. The high voltage module is just going straight into the cap dump. And that is dumping into the cap just for sake, just for experiment's sake. And I think the general idea of it is it's a different way of using the batteries. You're transferring the power rather than using the power because it's plus and plus connected. I'll put the schematic up and you can try and work it out for yourselves if you want but basically that's what it is. I'll give you an example of how I flip it then. It gets a bit complicated with these switches so I'll turn the load off first. Turn that off. 
So that's not connected anymore. It stopped doing its thing. Then I turn my switches off up here. So this was series. So I turn the series one off and I turn the two parallels off. Off. I love turning it on, sorry. I turn the two parallels off. It gets a bit complicated, so I think I need to lay this out a bit better. So now everything's off. Everything's off. This was the series connected side. Yeah, but now I'm flipping them. So I'm putting this switch to the positive and I'm flipping on my series connected connector here. Boom. I'm putting on my parallels on this side. One, two, double check that one's off. And then when I put this back on again, that'll start sparkling again. So again, what I've done here now is I've flipped it around. So this side is in series, this side is in parallel. Didn't have to unplug any, well, didn't have to unplug anything just with the switches, which is the aim really. And then you can scale this up to any kind of thing you want to scale up. I was going to play with some capacitors, replacing the batteries with capacitors. I've got some uh, super caps over there, 120 farad as well. I've got five, so I thought I could put one, two, three, four in and charge the fifth one and then compare the voltages to see if you are transferring power or if you're using the power instead. Have a good one. Let me know what you think.